Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Nurse Lizzie. Today we're partnering with Echo Health to bring you an all new different type of video than anything you've seen on my channel before. So hopefully you've seen some of my previous reviews of the Echo Core 500 in action, but I got to thinking and I wanted to do something creative outside of the box that I haven't seen before. I wanted to put the Echo Core 500 to use outside of the hospital setting, meaning the pre-hospital setting. I decided to call upon one of my friends who works as a paramedic and see if we could potentially team up to get his honest review and opinion of using the Echo Core 500. First, let me tell you a couple things about my friend Chris, who you're going to get to meet very soon. He is going to be the one putting the Echo Core 500 to the test in the pre-hospital setting. Chris is a paramedic. He works 24 hours straight when he's on call. And when we see him today, he is really on the job and on call. He is an Army veteran. He is a nursing student. And he's just a very matter-of-fact guy, which is one of the things I really love about him and one of the reasons I'm excited to see what he thinks of the Core 500 in action on the spot. Let's go meet Chris. We're starting out our morning at Citizens Hose Company in Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania. Not to be confused with the Jersey Shore, they're two different places. But Citizens Hose was gracious enough to allow us to do the ride along. I was able to meet the some of the crew members that work at Citizens Hose. Obviously I already know Chris, but I got to meet his partner, John, that will be driving us around. Before we jumped in and got started on the truck, we went through all the safety precautions. We sat in the break room. We were told the rules, we went over everything, and then we were ready to rock and roll. Arms up, there we go. I stay on wide, <clears throat> so it literally just touch it and it wakes. So these two controls are volume, so volume up, volume down. I have it turned on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to all your different sounds okay. uh, multiple times over different types of terrain, different types of road, because like, for instance, we're going out into a gravel parking lot right now, and I just kind of want to hear what it sounds like going over the gravel. Okay. Oh, that gives me a, a number two, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, take a deep breath. Let it out. Deep breath. Let it out. All right, deep breath. Yeah, that noise canceling feature is really nice. I'm going to loosen this belt a little bit just so I can listen to your lower abdomen. Okay. I'm going to grab a BP cuff. Okay. What's your normal pressure? Like 105 over. Oh, okay. So I'm way up. Yeah, we don't take pressures like nurses do. All good. Now I could... I can hear this very clearly. Why I could not hear this with an analog stethoscope. That's awesome. All right, we're going to leave that on because I'm going to take another pressure later on down the road. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it gives a very distinct heart sound that I can uh, differentiate between background noise and bumps in the road. Awesome. So. Yeah, you can imagine with an analog stethoscope how just difficult it is. You usually have to wait till we're at a like a stoplight or something if we're not running the lights and sirens. Yeah. Um, we all know, like when you're learning that skill, how hard it is just to learn as a beginner. So right. to be able to do that in a moving vehicle with yeah. sound, background noise, all yeah, of that. Yeah. That's, that's now, of course, we're going to get what's it looks like an abnormal EKG. Absolutely. Just because we're in the back of the moving ambulance and every bump in the road. All oh, that artifact. Yeah. Yeah. If you hit four or five bumps in a road, you're like, oh, STEMI. Yes. And uh, you're like, mm, let's give it a second. Exactly. Let's give it a second. Let's kind of figure out what's really going on. Okay. All right. So what I'm hearing is matching up with what I'm feeling. And I like that. Hang on. Now I want to see if what I hear, what I see, and what I feel all correlate. So I want to look again because we had some pretty good success with uh, visual data and palpation and auscultation. Okay, so there's our EKG correlating with what I'm hearing and I can feel. 
So yeah, I could probably see more, hear more, and do more with the stethoscope. Awesome. Um, in a very short period of time. Uh, so heard heart sounds pretty clearly. Uh, I was able to distinguish between S1 and S2. Breath sounds were amazing. You just got to kind of mess around with the uh, volume settings to see what your preference is. And abdominal sounds, you know, I was able to clearly hear uh, abdominal pops and clicks. I, I announced it out loud when I heard it, which is kind of a old habit from the army um, when you're communicating with people that don't have stethoscopes in their ears. I'm sure it's hard on the truck. Like it's real life. You yeah, know, yeah, you absolutely. Feel every bump you're hearing, you know, yeah. all those. Oh, yeah, I don't have a stethoscope. See how loudly we have to talk? Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's kind of like this also in a uh, in an aircraft, you know, flying, you know, uh, you know, not a pressurized passenger plane, but something that you might use in the military. EKG is my favorite feature, um, followed by noise canceling, followed by amplification of sounds. I would say that this is probably a pretty good product to shorten a learning curve for like free hospital people. Yeah. Because you get that EKG data mm -hmm. and then you can look at that and then you can listen at the same time and then you can feel and you're getting a more complete package of information to to make your, your, your differential. Um, so initial impressions, um, got a lot of data, uh, messing around with the stethoscope, was able to see, hear, uh, palpate. Um, so just a lot of data that would really come in handy that would uh, give me information while my partner's putting on the assessment tools. Pretty clear auscultations of blood pressure. I could hear all the sounds pretty clearly. Mm -hmm. um, block out noise. Uh, and that's kind of be the kind of the big thing is being able to hear stuff when bouncing down the road in the back of the ambulance. Um, yeah, especially those blood pressures because sometimes our, our monitors can be a little finicky. Sure, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Real life. Yeah, real life happens. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Be sure to check out echohealth.com for more of their products and features. And don't forget to check out the Echo Health app. Thanks.